<laughs> They're almost ready to go, so we'd better hurry yeah. up and talk about them. This... You got Yuge versus Kirua. Yuge joining for the second time, returning from their first mystery tournament. No, wait, yeah, just joined mystery tournament 10. Oh. And then not again until now. Damn, what a comeback. Maybe so he went 0 and 2 in that tournament. Maybe unfortunately. He, maybe uh, he went to like a like a far off temple and trained with the monks. Oh. To become playing that mystery bad platformers racing. Yeah. and <laughs> they all sit around games. NES all days. <laughs> then they they try to like tune out all the distractions and focus on the platform and the enemy and the projectile. Become one with the paste bin. <laughs> Um, but then on the other side, Kira, uh, kind of a regular again, I guess was there an MT2, but I have seen him lately more, and has yeah. a pretty okay win rate, close to 50%. Is, um, is, is from the old days, so I've seen the worst of what Mystery Tournament has to offer. There's a couple people who have, who come in from a long hiatus and they come back and I'm a, I'm interested to show them like here's what it is now right because it is pretty different these days compared to how it used to be in all kinds of ways mostly small small ways but they add up um, and then they just pull some like NES or SNES game from an ancient submission yeah, and then it's like, the okay, same well <laughs> how different is it really I guess I've already seen the game that they've pulled, and it is a SNES platformer. Though I feel like it's not something we would have seen back in the day. In fact, I think the only time this has been in was Mystery Tournament 14. So, before ID was organizing Mystery Tournament, he was just a regular guy. <laughs> a regular guy with a regular job. But, so he made me play this game because he wasn't sure if this was MT material. And I told him I hate the game, but yes it is. <laughs> So I, yeah, I remember he submitted it um, with a. I just I pulled up the sheet and then closed it because I thought I had all the information I wanted out of it. But it, I want to look again at because there's a suggested time from the people who submitted. I can tell you the testers had a pretty big spread. Me and another tester were at like 23 and 26 minutes, and then another was well, at 50. Fast. Um, and then the SRL times are also at like 45. Yeah, this was raced at least once. But it's weird because it took someone 45 minutes to beat stage 4-1, and then it took other people 25 minutes to beat stage 6? I almost feel like this is a different game that got rolled into this this game on SRL or something. Oh, well, let's see the game. Because the game is called... I did. <laughs> Mr. what's uh -huh. the game? What's what? okay? Okay. Gegege no Kitaru, Ukatsu, Tenma Dayo. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I would, if I had to nitpick, I would say it was. It's probably more like Kitaro rather than Kitaru. Huh. But yeah, otherwise, I couldn't do much better. I mean, both of us would screw up the pitch accent on all of these words, right? Like, it's, whereas English will have certain stress on certain. Syllables, right? It's syllable, not syllable. Uh, Japanese, you vary your pitch, so it, it might be like kitaro or kitaro, or you know, there's some way to say it, and neither of us has any idea. I, you've lost me completely. Uh huh. But here we go. Uh, we're just gonna beat six stages, and anyone who expects a regular platformer will be surprised. It's not a regular platformer, because there's a huge frog. No, because there's barely level. Yeah, like, like you, you walk, walk a little to the, to the right, right, and there's like four enemies in your way sometimes. <laughs> and then a boss fight. Yeah, and then a boss fight. It's kind of like Cuphead, really. Yeah. In a surprising number of ways. So Gigege no Kitaro is like a, a long, long, long running franchise. It shows and movies and games and stuff. It's pretty big over there. And it's this... I don't know a lot about it. This weird guy and his family deal with these yokai creatures and he shoots things from his hair yeah yes, you do you can jump you can shoot you can use your special move 
And you can change what special you're using with LNR. The flames are your health at the bottom there. And the number next to it is the number of special moves. You guys dead. You have to redo Druid the stage? Also dead. No, you don't. But do you have limited lives? I mean, surely there's something to this. Wait, oh, you do You do have to redo this. Oh. Your shield blocks projectiles. Enemies drop soul orbs, which you use to do special attacks. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a yokai himself. Uh, there's a recent anime like that. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's pretty, like, known. Called Chainsaw Man. That's the same premise, kind <laughs> of. Mm, no, it's a little too weird for me. Yeah, it's, it's very obscure. I actually haven't seen it yet. I was, I was waiting for it to finish, and oh, yeah, but finished, I, mean, I should I should watch it immediately. Uh, is Kira configuring controls? Yeah, bro. They had uh, they said at the start of the race they they had just setting up Bizhawk for SNES games, and I guess that maybe they were like, I don't like this buttons where they are. I'm gonna switch them. Sort of thing. Yeah, fair. I mean. Let's have the weird Mario movement where you like, uh, jump on the right. No, you spin jump on the right button. Yes. Ness Mario did it right. And then like on NES Online on the Switch, it's completely wrong and you can't change it. It's so annoying. Wait. Well, on NES oh, Online. Or is, it, or is it the top button? No, on, on Super Mario World, you jump on A, which is the right button. Did, did Yugi beat the boss? I think Yugi beat the boss. Is it Yugi? The boss is dead. Or Hugi? Or huge? <laughs> He's huge! It's it's I'm like how sure. our former US president would pronounce the word huge. Yeah, disappointingly so. <laughs> Kira's just trading hits with this thing. Yeah, 3 HP for the boss. That's not good. Really not good. There's uh, something about this, I don't know, people te seem to go hot or cold. They either have all kinds of problems with this game, or it's fine. Like me. And I, I, I can't really dial in on what needs to happen. I don't know, I, I feel like the worst thing about Mega Man are the bot. And this is just Mega Man bot. <laughs> I feel like uh, aggr you've got a lot of health, so I feel like aggression you favors you. Like you Hmm. Maybe it's there's a. I was in a race against Jorf where there was like a game where you drive a tank around, and he sped past everything, and finished the goal in a couple minutes. Whereas I was like, oh, they're these guys are difficult. I'm having trouble fighting them. Let me go slower and more careful <laughs> yeah. so that I don't die. It's right? Like a feedback loop. Yeah, which made it just harder because I was just a slower target and I was fighting enemies for longer and getting worn down more and more. And so I would go even slower and slower. And I, I feel like aggression sometimes is also the way to be safer. Ghost bird turned into a rock. Japanese yeah, folklore is weird. It's super weird. They go all, all kinds of places. There's like hundreds of like wild monsters with backstories and... Mm. They go back hundreds and hundreds of years. Like if you ask, like a, like what's a North American folklore creature? We got like, we Big got foot. Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. We, hey, do some unicorns say count? The Mothman. I think that might even be the European. Mothman. The Mothman. It sounds like someone from Godzilla. Yeah, there's that. I don't know, Chupacabra. Like that's it. Like we got so. I think few. that's Mexican. It's, it's, I said North America is what I said. Oh. oh yeah, okay, oh, fair, fair, fair. Um, the Wendigo. Hmm, is that in, us? In, in Sweden, they have like a, a horse that is like in water, and then when you, you get to it, it starts sticking to it, and then it drowns you. Ooh. Yeah, that's spooky. I mean, it didn't start very spooky, to be honest. There is a horse and it's in water. I was yeah, like, yeah, you're going to need but, to but sell the, this. But then you that's the bait. sticky water that you get stuck in and then you get to you. Oh, that's pretty bad. No, no, the horse is sticky. Oh, you can't touch the horse. The water is what regular water. Yeah, like if you try to ride the horse or get it out or something, you stick to the horse and then you drown. And then it like then it takes off into the middle of the lake while you're stuck. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I see. In terms of this game, I, I remember just... Just shooting everything with my hair, just all the time, and 
generally it would die before it, it gave me trouble, you know? But everyone's getting beat up pretty bad. I don't actually remember how bad of it. So, this is the type of game where if I die even once, I'm gonna say I did really terribly on it. So I don't know how terrible I really did on it, but I feel like I did not great. Oh, he's gonna turn into a rock. Bonk. It's got this weird snaky tail thing at the back. What is this thing now? It's turning into a rock that's new. <laughs> you can keeps getting hit by the rock! Oh boy. This is definitely gonna be a game about learning and memorizing patterns. Yeah, that's why I hate it. Um, mm -hmm. you were, uh, again, 3 HP on this thing. Just only enters the... Kappa? Is this a Kappa? Kind of looks like a Kappa head. It's at like least. a Kappa head. Yeah. yeah. Post, post uh, Kappa in the chat. Time to run under. Needed to react to it sooner, I guess, and maybe it's doable. I wonder if like attacking will interrupt boss patterns or something, and that's why aggression is so good because you just kind of keep them more locked down than they would be otherwise. I'm not sure. Ah, huh? they're they're close enough to you get to damage him. <laughs> this is over. Oh. That's bad. That's a bad scene. You, you can't even really get away. No, not like there's. You would take several hits trying to cross over to the other side. Um, what I remember from this game is that stage six is really annoying, like the stage before the boss, that you just die there instead of on the boss. I remember a bridge that's falling apart. Very easy to just fall down. And like some flying enemies that harass you. My memory's notoriously bad. I mean, you remember Danny. That's what my. <laughs> I would never, ever <laughs> forget Danny. Ah, uh, this box jumped close to the Yuga. This is bad. Oh my god, they're both close now. I don't know if Yuga was trying to die, or... It was a bit unclear. Alright, lots of attacks from Karua. It's got way more health than yeah. previous attempts. 7 HP. Uh, you also have different weapons, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Like, Kira has this tornado selected, but it says zero, so... Probably not the weapon he can use right now. Not enough soul orbs. Sure. That the basement calls him. Not enough pylons. You must construct additional soul orbs. <laughs> I mean, this guy is pretty simple. He's basically the the first boss of Cuphead. One, two. He's uh, dead. Oh, uh, uh, maybe he's he's just asleep. He's faking. All right, get the well steering. All right, Karua equalizes. I feel like Yuge has. I mean, has learned some things about this next level, but hasn't really found an answer, you know? I don't know if you guys really learned. Yeah, has, has, uh, <clears throat> is familiar with the question, but has not yet found the answer. Wow. Ooh. Late night, mythical nine. <laughs> some wise things to say. Getting philosophical. The good stuff only comes out. So this is interesting. Um, Muwer said the special attacks cost different amounts, and Hugo just used the lightning when he had only one MP left. Oh. So if you, you can play your cards right to get the most out of your your last one. Or not? Oh. oh that's that's a clear. The lightning is strong apparently. Oh, the number shows how many you can afford. But so you have to kind of use math to figure out how much MP what, you have. What they actually cost. I think the whip is one. One unit. Like, you could math this out. This is like a... Uh, maybe, potentially. Like a, a, a gear problem, you know? Like, a gear has 10 teeth, a different gear has 15. When will they meet again? It's that kind of thing. 
Yeah, I think I get what you're putting down. Yeah, so like if, if you have two whips and three lightnings and eight whatever, then you can figure out it's probably you probably have 24 MP. One thing costs three, the other not, right? Something like that. Yeah, there's because like otherwise there's it wouldn't really work between them. This boss that follows your movement that stays like just outside of range. It's also really creepy. Let's change positions. I don't know if Yuga is even hurting it. I think you have to like get it from the bottom. Kind of like the that jumpy thing in fusion. A has got speedrun notes. Whip one, shoe two, lightning five. Alright, Karu with a decent amount of health. I'm not sure, you know, that we're gonna get the clear first try. Oh, that hammer. Oh, there's nice a hammer. Reaction. Why is there a hammer? <laughs> That's true. It oh! Is. We didn't... I don't think we saw the hammer. It's a different attack by this boss. And it's like... Oh, he's gonna turn into a rock? At least once. Oh, nice touch. All over the place with these shots. Ah! Contact damage. It's gonna be the rock. Run! Oof. Almost got tails. I think in general, jumping shots. No! Are, are good. Ah, oh, that's so cheap. Cornered by this weird soul attack. Well, the, the, the thing is, Kira tried to jump over it because he thought it was gonna move once more, but it didn't. Instead, it flew up to like transform back into the rat ghost. Yeah. That's so cheap. Okay, once again, spawns the, the head on this thing is xenomorph like. But yeah. it's like the skull part of it, right? So. It's... I don't like it. I don't like it either. But I also don't like the hands. Yeah. I'm just coming to some. Oh, they are hands. He's just doing a weird jab motion yeah. on the side. Well, I think that's it. Gold Orb is five. Which is actually will carry over to the next level, mm. I suppose. So that's level three cleared. If I count correctly. And of course I did. I think that's right. So this is a regular three enemy? The... <laughs> I mean, huh. yes, yeah, sort of. Oh my god. Get this out of is here, the level Tamaki. I was thinking of when you said level six. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is the one that I should know. I think level, level 6 is the one where you fight like a bird or something? You ride... There, there's something like carrying little platforms and you jump on them. I think you have free it's, movement even. It's the same... Oh, maybe. My god, this Tanuki can same... screw off. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty relentless. I think some of these you can skip even. You might just be able to just kind of go to the right. Off with now. Or when you respawn, you can kind of choose your respawn point. It's kind of like Smash. I mean, you <laughs> can't really choose, but you can choose when to go down at least. Guru's got the safe. The crouching! You can crouch under these attacks! Seems really obvious, but yeah. Would have thought. I mean, the hitbox, like, the sprite is still, like, touching me, so it's weird. Oh, but this creepy little guy shows up and starts giving you the tongue. Oh my god. Oh, wait. It's this... not even the boss. It's just some guy. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Mike. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Mike? <laughs> I know this guy. You know, Sorry. the Japanese yokai, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. my, Maiku. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, I was going to say it's pronounced Maiku. Like the a boss is dead. The lightning, he showed up, you gave him the lightning, and then that was it. First try. Well, second try. The Tanukis were stronger than the boss. <laughs> the Tanukis did a better job. Oh, here's the flying. Oh, yeah, and these things poop on you. Okay, it's all coming back. I'm not sure if I played this far. Honest. I do it from my father, right? My god, these... Chickens are annoying. 
Not even birds, they're chickens. I mean, chickens are birds. There's something riding the chicken. And I use the word something because I have no other word for what it is. It's like a rain ghost. <laughs> Karuid defeats the, the forest ghost with this transformation powers. This boss but... gave the players in the last match I saw so many issues. Yeah, look at he just takes all this space away immediately. Yeah, and uh, like you want to get close to use your hair, then he's gonna fire flame dragon you. Oh, you can block it with the, the shield. We saw the players experiment with that early on and then kind of gave up on it. Yuga has been using it. Alright, let's take a look. I think I didn't even know I had a shield. ID didn't tell me. <laughs> ID set me up to have a bad time in this game. I definitely didn't use it much. But yeah, so Yuga is on 5, Freeware is on the boss of 3. You can ask about the shield. Know about the laser. You think he I shoots think you lasers? Have more time to attack after the laser. Yeah, so maybe staying high is a good idea. You can just get the stuck in the cycle. Oh, oh never mind. Whip. No, just got really lucky that the boss decided to yeah, not do the more apparently. annoying attacks. Do you think in the original folklore he shoots lasers too? Probably. I bet they're like, they paralyze or turn you to stone or something. Mm. Oh yeah! There's a lot of Greek folklore. They have something yeah, crazy about that stuff. Whatnot. Yeah, like all the gods, really. Or is that more religion? Religion? Folklore? Maybe I shouldn't go there. In... It's getting blurry. <laughs> and this guy is like, he's a Beyblade master. Yeah, that's his whole thing. He's just got a a shirt full of tops. And every now and then he pulls oh, out a special oh, big one. He can do a backflip. <laughs> Being able to do a backflip just like from a standing position is like the coolest party trick ever. Uh-huh. Yeah. Is it more or less impressive if you land on your hands and then spring off of that and keep going? Or if you just do the whole flip and land directly on your feet again? I think both are cool, but it's more impressive if you do it in one go. I like the, the the it looks more visually appealing to me to see the hands come down. Yeah, but I mean that's like it feels easier, you know? Like you're only doing half a rotation and then another one. I guess. To me it suggests more control. Like oh yeah, you got you got enough force to spin your body and then you got lucky and landed on your feet. Whereas something about there it being more elegant. Hero doesn't know how good the lightning is. Because the lightning is crazy good. And this, there's horizon. I mean, and sideways flips are cool too. Man, look at the, the... If you are close enough to use your hair, and then the boss decides to do one of either of the fire attacks, you're just gonna get hit. Uh, there's Kira? no dodging. Uh. You have to just not be there, and that means you have to just not be attacking at that range. So, uh, like, maybe you can get one hit in out. Do you mean on the Yuga bus? Yeah. Yeah. And really, the laser is the, the free one. But also, yeah. we know that using the shield makes every attack free. Right. Oh, oh, lightning time. Oh, the lightning... The your, your hair comes out at hair height, obviously, but the lightning comes out of your chest, so it went under the Whoa. eyeball that you gave us lined up with. It's doing like a slap. Wait, it didn't even hurt him. Yugi got slapped into into October. Didn't hurt. <laughs> That's a long way away. Yeah. We're in January. <laughs> it depends I mean, when you draw this game, man. how much damage it does. <laughs> how, how many... <laughs> Months into the future, did you get slapped? <laughs> you think that's also part of his Japanese folklore? Yes. They're like, when he gets angry, he does a big slap. <laughs> In the original, it's like, if it's the year of the dragon, you get punched like a, if you got hit by a dragon. <laughs> so now it's the... What's, which year is it, actually? I think it's Rabbit. Oh, right, yeah, I mean, that's see, that's why it didn't hurt. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> that is the sort of weird thing that they would just write in to their folklore. I wish I could have been alive back when they were making this stuff up, man. What, be making stuff up too? Yeah. He spits fire and he's got big hands for slapping and one eye and he shoots lasers like and then they're like, all right, this is our history <laughs> yeah, now. I mean, write, write that down, write that down. Write that down, right? Get the artists on this. <laughs> get all those weird grimacing people on the scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh so. You get watching Karua just trying to get a closer idea of the think, evolution of the fight here. I think you, we don't actually know how to properly fight the skeleton because you could just lightning twice and that was enough. <laughs> I think you might be right. Kira has been trying to like hit it while it's on the right, but I don't think it's working. And then Kira has been trying to hit it from the bottom and then duck under when when he like tries to scoop you up like Ridley or something. And that one's not working because he hits you. Right now. Yeah. Okira doesn't have lightning. This is another thing going on with this game, is that if you die, you go back to zero spirit orbs, whereas you can kind of roll over some from the previous stage yeah. if you are doing it on the first try. Yeah, they're kind of these um, games that have a snowball effect like that are problematic and empty. Yeah. Like something like... Like this wouldn't work as a game anyway, but like a Super Auto Pets? Yeah, Super Auto Pets. Like that's that's a very snowballing mm. game. Yeah. If you have a bad time early on, you're not gonna have a good time later on. Oh, you guys got something going on here. The boss is so low that you can move vertically and that gives Watch. him the time to get out of range. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's tight. Uh-oh. The space is gone. Oh, barely enough. Whoa. Whoa. Gotta look out. Like, oh. the ropes are gonna start. Oh my god, this guy is like... He's taking up all the screen now. Ouch. Laser. Look, these birds Cruising. are so angry. Crew's been unable to find a safe spot. You can duck under when the skeleton moves, but when the hands come down, they hit oh. you even when you're ducking. But... There it is. Aggression. Because damage, damage raises him, basically. Yeah, part of it, the enemies flash, I think, for longer than they're actually vulnerable for. Like, you can hit them pretty rapidly, like, bam, bam, <laughs> bam, bam, and then you can pour the damage on. Right, it's a stupid tanuki. Yeah, I think we all saw that coming. It's just so rude. Oh, no. <laughs> Kira has to choose his respawn. Oh no! And then was so far at the edge of the screen, couldn't react to the, the cliff. It seems like the kind of thing where you could get a wrong drop by like respawning on the very right and then getting hit to the right. <laughs> Someone should try that, just... I feel like something might happen. You just wrap around back to the left. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe you wrap into the next level. Well, Karua came in with 10 whips and is going to go back to zero, unfortunately. Oh yeah, you're right. I thought maybe it would keep what you have, at least. Wait, had zero whips but still has five sandals? Something's funky. We need to consult Moveware's spreadsheet. Ooh. Ooh. Got a blue orb, got no more sandals. So orbs are one, sandals are two, we know that. I think the enemies just have no iframes, I wonder. But they're like so. I was thinking about this when you said it earlier with the iframes run out earlier than you think. In games like that, you still get the, like the sound feedback, right? When you hit an enemy, like it, it doesn't go boom and boom, boom when it's flashing. It just goes like the whole time, like a metal slug or something. Mm. And uh, this game doesn't have that, so that makes me think it doesn't. But maybe it's just weirdly designed. 
Yeah, I truly don't know. But it would explain some things, right? Because we've seen some people just do so much better than others. And it, it might just be misunderstanding that, like, oh, you can just, just shoot them to death immediately. And other people are, like, dodging and waiting for their one shot and taking a bunch of damage in the meantime. So, Kimura skipped all the enemies, and now, at the end... To fight them all. Yeah. <laughs> On this tiny platform, getting licked. Oh, but he's, is he's the AI couldn't figure it out, so Kuria got some free hits. But the boss is here now. Okay, we didn't even. Oh no! Things? Oh, oh no. that could have been it so easily. But Kuria also switched away from the light. The bad sign. Like the music in this. Okay. He has found like the maximum range to stand at to fight this guy. He's getting pretty close on some of these. When you've got the vertical space, you can hit him and then go up. It's like a circle. Oh, 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 oh. Was, was kind of undecided whether to attack or play it defensively, and then got caught off guard. Yeah, you gotta decide. Oh no, Kira gets licked. First thing. Oh. Nice retreating attacks there. Good jump. Oh no, pick up the thing. I mean, okay, he's got 20 things, apparently. Should be able to use the lightning attack. Four times? Oh, so. oh, lightning time! This or boss not. is dead if these connect. Oh! One. Another. That's, that's five health, too. <laughs> it's so dead! Two. It's ridiculous. To take three lightning attacks into the next round. Yeah, but... Oh, we'll see. Yeah, actually, like, if, if Kira just gets to the boss... And then gives him the lightning? Yeah, why not? Oh my god, these chickens, man. Yeah, I, I, I've been preaching aggression as the go-to strategy, but it's really not working for Kira in this moment. Wait, maybe? Like, did you see there was, like, an orb that spawned from... Right? Maybe you can delay this fight for long enough, get five orbs or whatever, and then hit the boss with lightning. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, or you can just whip him until he dies. Yeah, that's the fifth boss down. One more stage for Yuga. I don't know what this between level thing going on is, but it was. It was interesting. Ending the next target. If I remember right, this is nothing compared to the Cyclops. Like, the, the Cyclops is the true end of the goal. This is the victory lap. Huh. But we'll see. I mean, Hero has to hope that's not the case. Yeah. Wow, this... Oh, I think I remember these guys come infinitely. You need to, you need to go. Oh, that's why you thought you could run past the Tanuki. Yeah, okay. I think that's it. I, th I think someone was here killing these guys for a long time. You don't even get orbs for this. Rip off. Using up all my hair product. Alright, you get detect something is maybe wrong and starts hustling. Oh. Oh. Got a weird guy. He's a cloud now. Uh, uh, oh, he's a... It's a fox. Kitsune. tailed fox now. Not the good scene I see. Games. It's a... Uh... What is it? I watch the stupid anime. <laughs> the cute QB? QB? It's Q something. Q, is, Q means nine. Naruto's got it inside him. Big evil fox. QB. Yeah. More monsters. Oh, I remember the stupid thing. So it will like. It'll try to kind of predict where you're going if you try to move, but other than that, it's really not all that threatening. Oh, oh hit it the with the lightning somehow I think. connects. Oh, where did it go? Oh my god! What? <laughs> what a bait! Well played to that thing. What a bait! A masterclass. Here I have lightning. Five shoes. And one whip. Five shoes should be two lightning.
What does the fox actually do? Because so far, all I've seen is it shows up and then it goes, ow, and then goes away. It's intimidating. <laughs> so what's, this, what's, what's this ghost's folklore? It's like, like it, it wraps you up in its ghostness and then... Takes you away to the spirit realm. Yeah, probably. It, ro it rolls you up. Oh, it, it, it tried to do the thing again, but this time Yuga was ready. I think this is it. I think it's this this collection of ghosts, and then it's over. Oh yeah, it's the bus. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, he's like multiple things, right? So, like, I don't... Dude, what is happening? Karua just shredded the Cyclops. Okay, why not? Kira also on the last level. Let's see how long Kira killed some monsters from the Black Lagoon. Wait, mm -hmm. is is Mar close? Is Marvel and DC folklore? Does it no. Count? Not at all. No, too modern. Okay, here we go. Go back to your swamp. Ugh. Ugh. How would you dodge this ghost? Would you stay still and then when you saw it, you move? Or no. would you try to be running and then reverse direction? Yes. Uh, the monster is it's pretty fixed on when it spawns. And it tries to predict where you're going. See, like like that kind of. So if, if I'm walking right and I know it'll spawn, I will turn left right after I think it spawns. What if you turn early and then it spawns to the left instead? Well, then I'll turn around again. I don't know. <laughs> like, at the moment it spawns, if I'm moving, it's further away than if I wasn't moving. That's true. That's my thought process. If you could guarantee that you could wiggle from right to left with no neutral input in between, you would guarantee it always spawned somewhere you weren't standing. And you could just... Do the perfect wiggle trick. Do the wiggle. To save yourself. One frame each. And that's where things get weird if you're playing on keyboard. Like, what happens if you are holding right and then press left? Like, if it just overwrites right with left, you could guarantee oh. that input. Oh, that's, that's good. Weird. It's weird. Yeah, just hold left and tap you right. You do that on a D-pad. It's not the same. It's not equivalent. Oh. It's weird. That's that's what I, what I was thinking when TPC said that they played Prism Light. The drawing tablet. I feel like oh, there's, there's, a, there's a distinct advantage over there. Yeah, like I don't know if it's advantage or disadvantage or what, but it does seem different. Hmm. Right, one time, Roar asked if he can use a drawing tablet to play a DS game in some tournament. And I think I told him no, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that's still correct. Yeah, it is. It's meaningfully different. Yuga has a lot of HP. Yuga has one HP less than he has just a moment ago. Also, Mr. Lightning. Krua has not a lot of HP, but like uh, this is the kind of boss you could just not get hit. Uh, you this know? this ghost lady got Yuga it's earlier. Tough. Yeah. Sometimes she just hits you. I, I don't know. Maybe you have to duck. Maybe. I'm not you actually have to sure. know when that phase is coming, and then you have you had, once you are moving in one direction, hopefully away from her. I, I don't know if she's always on the left first, or I think she goes right to left first every time. So you need to be moving left, and then you just cross left, right, left, right as she comes. You guys been shooting at this boss for quite a while now. Probably all this hair product is gonna kill the boss soon. Oh, the double lefts just doesn't work out. Ouch. Yuga gets tagged. PHP. But I shot this boss so many times at this point. Come on. It's under the paws. Uh, this one's gonna and hit. Oh, it didn't! Oh, I, I thought for sure it needed to cross under, but okay. Ah! Karua, I heard a sound effect for Karua. Well, okay, it's this one. Last HP for Yuga. But also, like, has this. Oh my god. Oh, this time it's gonna hit. Oh, this is not the attempt. The ball is now in Karuba's court.
Getting some hits in on the swooping lady and not getting hit in return. It's a really oh. good sign for Karua. Didn't even know you could hit lady. I don't know if you can hit the tiger. They've been shooting at it, but never done any damage. Tiger's weird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the tiger. You don't want to see the tiger. Karua gets tagged. Not even the full tiger. Kind of lame. I mean, you only need the part with the teeth and the claws, you know what I mean? How does it breathe? It's a ghost. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> this is this is us in the folklore office. You come in while I'm working, but how does it breathe? <laughs> it's a ghost! <laughs> Don't tell me how to do my job! All right, we, we're gonna have to put that in the footnotes, otherwise people are gonna ask questions. Today I invented a frog that's just one big frog head and he spits clouds on the ground, all right? I'm a creative genius. <laughs> Oh no, Yuga had a worse attempt than before. That's always a bit disheartening, right? Like, when you get through a level and you like die kind of far into it, and then you just get hit immediately or fall in the pit immediately or something, you feel like you've learned nothing. Yes, absolutely. I And I it gets to the point where I become quite certain that once I do, on my first try, do very well and then come short, I'm like, I'm gonna be here for 10 minutes now, aren't oh. I? Because oh, no. I failed that, aren't I? Aren't I? Aren't that's where that's my future. That's the next ten minutes, it, isn't it's, it? It's like the all or nothing mentality. Like either I could have done this, or no, 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 I'm lost. I'm gonna be stuck mm -hmm. here and die five more times. So we'll see if our players can avoid oh! these unhelpful mental traps. Oh my god! Focus on the boss in front of him. Karu yeah, Karua's dodging of this phase is sporadic. I feel like it has adopted this mentality of just I'm gonna be a coiled spring I, and I feel like I'm the gonna boss is, shoot in The boss is like moving faster for me, bro. Just because it's like hurt? Mm. Let's go, Slady. Ah swoops left instead of right because Kira moved to the left. It does kinda seem like the swoop is such a, a speedrunning term. I feel like you only hear swoop in relation to speed running cycles. You think? I don't know. Like who else swoops? I don't know. Bats? Birds? Oh yeah, in speed running. I think that's a word English speakers just use. I mean, I know it's a word, but I feel like I only hear it in speed running context. How often do you speak to people in English? Wait, this is outside done? of speed running context. Wait, That's I wasn't it. watching. Yuge did it. Oh. Wow. This freaky train is what the paceman tells you is what you'll see when you're done. Freaky train? Ah, no. I'm a bit sad that I'm talking about dumb stuff. <laughs> I missed as a result. Yuge swoops in and scores the victory over Karua. It was a nail biter down to the end. Yeah. Entering the level a little bit earlier because found the lightning earlier, I guess. That was the biggest difference that we've seen. But then was also stuck on this ditto. Creepy ditto. Yeah, Karua had the resources for two lightnings on the Cyclops that just made it so that you didn't have to be so perfect dodging those attacks. Slash get that lucky dodging those attacks. Going on on the right, oh, by the way. Of the UI. Right, I, I remember there's. Oh yeah, I don't know what this, what any of that is. Maybe there's player two. That doesn't really make sense unless you share a health bar. <laughs> uh, yeah, the your ammo I think does carry over after continues. I think I remember that's a thing. Oh, Kira beats it. Rescues. There it is. The little line. Very close race. Ah, he said. Ah. I speak Japanese. Ah. Ah. Through a dot done very quickly types. Who makes this shit? Didn't like this game either. So. I'm in the Kirua camp. These times are. It's tough. There's one race where everyone did generally better than this, and then there's one race where everyone did a lot worse than this. And I don't know which of them is faking. 
Or if it's just weird. Everyone was, was just really good one day and bad one day. This was a loser's match. So this was a fight for survival. And that means Yuge, who has joined us here, you get to continue on in Mystery Tournament. Hello. Hello. And thank you. <laughs> yes, I did survive, despite the uh, game's best efforts. <laughs> this is a, a weird one in a lot of ways, I guess. But it's like it's like mostly boss fights. Yeah, it kind of felt like a way worse implementation of, say, Cuphead. Yep, that was the the first comparison Maurice made on commentary. Um, it, we were trying to figure out, and we're still not sure. I remembered aggression, just a, attacking a lot, um, being a good approach. And it, we were th wondering, like, maybe bosses don't actually have iframes, despite the blinking and everything. Uh, I didn't notice if they didn't. Um... But you were so frail, so every time I attacked, I just tried to withdraw. <laughs> yeah. But but what is a tactics, however, is just dying a lot to save up on uh, special powers to do the the uh, ultra attack. Yeah, the light because that at least got me through one of the um, uh, bosses. Yeah, that's uh, that's something we only noticed pretty late in, and because we we had this before, and and someone in chat said it, and I was like, oh shoot, you're right, that is a thing. And that's weird. That's that's so unlike. I can't think of a single other game where you can just die over and over to accrue resources for one attempt. I guess Dark Souls, but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> well, I mean the resources are stuck in the boss fight until you win the boss fight, right? Yeah, sure. But you you can farm in a way in Dark Souls where you can just. Get a bunch of souls, die, get, get those souls again, die, get those souls again, die. If you're having trouble, then rushing back to a bonfire. Oh, and then get out of there. Them. That's true. That's true. Um, good point. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty Cyclops. rare sight. Yeah, the Cyclops was the big thing, really. Um, he, just, he, attack, he just attacks so fast with the fire attacks. Yeah, you, you definitely need to uh, get him low just to be able to do those rapid attacks from above. That was the only way, and, and even with the special powers there, it was hard to, to get through that one. Well, there might have been another way. Did you forget slash not know that, that you have a block button? Ah, right, right. Well, yeah. the thing is there that if you block, then you're kind of locked into that animation. And if you're locked into that animation, if the attack with fire and with... Or did that block the fire and the ivy as well? It definitely blocks fire. I'm okay, sure because I know the small fire projectiles I could see, but I thought the fire breath and the eye beams would have gone through. I think you're good on the both fire attacks. And maybe okay. the beam, I don't know. But apparently, we have Muir has some speedrun experience with the game and was giving us all kinds of tips. And apparently the blocking is really good there. Okay, yeah, that that I didn't consider just because I know that both attacking and blocking locks you into the animation. It was definitely a um, something you were doing early on was just kind of like jumping and attacking in the air to just like attack while approaching, attack while dodging, sort of thing. And that sort of nimbleness, I think, was a, a, what gave you a, an early lead that you held on to. That, that's good. Yeah, I did see the two uh, dot on and got really, really uh, stressed out there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A couple well, was of it them was uh, was uh, Kira far behind or because the the dot on didn't come that much later? Yeah. Was you jumped out to an early lead and then even sort of expanded on it a little bit until the Cyclops. You got stuck on that for a while. Yeah. Um, and Karua just landed a couple lightning attacks on it and, and beat it actually pretty quick. So you were both on the final boss and it could have it could have been either one of you. You both had multiple tries to take it down. It was a close race. Yeah. So and um, yeah, uh, I, I kind of um, 
liked having some kind of Kuso game. <laughs> I, I feel like I have more experience with those. Well, I don't know what you'll get in your next match, but I can tell you... Wait, no, I can't tell you. You'll be up against Thor of Kenya for your next match. So congratulations. Look forward to that. Yes, I will. <laughs> I don't think Kurua wants to come chat. So, I will say best of luck in your next match, and thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Yeah, thank you for hosting this uh, tournament as well. It's been a real pleasure playing. That's great to hear. Thank you so much. Well, that's going to do it for the... I mean, it's here at 6 a.m. Over there, it might be noon. Who knows? Wherever you are watching this. But... <laughs> Probably somewhere. It's every time. That's how That's how it works. Oh, yeah, I know. But it's... I don't know how many viewers we have in the Atlantic Ocean. Ah, uh, noon somewhere. That's what that's what the guy says. Yeah, uh, I, I forgot his name. His new name. <laughs> Cole Cassidy. Huh. A lot of people just started calling him Cowboy. <laughs> like, like a boxer and, and claw. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. I think that's cool. We got Cowboy, yeah. and then like if if the trace of voice actor does something stupid, she becomes like British. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Reinhardt is just knight. He's German. They, they can call they him Ritter. Ritter. It's German for knight. How about that? Oh, one of his skins is like something Ritter. Eisen Ritter, maybe? Yeah, that's Iron that... Knight. Iron Knight? Yeah. It's, it doesn't sound as cool, right? Like, to me, it doesn't. neither sounds cool, but to, to the international audience, Iron Knight is just like, ah, okay. Iron Knight, yeah, but then Eisenritter. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. That's how, that's how I feel when I watch anime. It's okay. Some girl does a spell and she shouts, Oh, yeah. Flammen. Flammen attacker. <laughs> and I go, okay. <laughs> it doesn't sound that powerful. I'm not scared. Uh huh. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but then they say in Japanese, like, Senbon Zakura. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 But yeah, like you said, that's it for now. We have a planned match for in five hours, which is at noon EST this time. Different noon. Noon somewhere else. And mm -hmm. then followed by a kind of full schedule. Jackazam vs. Adra Sedini, Boney vs. Draconic Don, Ten Miku vs. Aaron Doby, and... Uh... Appen Drake vs. Atom Played. Yeah. Oh man, it's a triple. We're not gonna catch that, so... So far, people have been very nice and like moved it either back or forward by an hour. Maybe we can have that happen again. Yeah, that would be nice. It'd be nice if you came and watched some of these matches later on, or maybe followed the channel, maybe even subscribed on Twitch for some emotes and less ads. I'm not sure if we even are. You might encounter ads. I'm not. I don't know. I think but... you have to have ads. Now. The, there's pre-rolls, I think, that we can't save you from, but you can save yourself by giving us $5 per month, which we'll find a use for, support the stream, these layouts, and prizes sometimes, even. Mm -hmm. Some fun stuff, basically, supporting, supporting the community that we got here. If you want to be a part of the community, you can join the Discord, where we all hang out. You can get a roll that'll let you know when matches are happening and stuff. And that's a good time. So, if any of that sounds good, go ahead and do it. And then come back in five hours and four minutes for more Mystery Tournament 0017. <laughs> <laughs>